In the canon law of the Catholic Church, the loss of the clerical state commonly referred to as laicization or laicization is the removal of a bishop, priest or deacon from the status of being a member of the clergy. The term loss of clerical state used by the Catholic Church corresponds closely in meaning to the terms defrocking and unfrocking used in some other traditions. Defrocking has no meaning in Catholic canon law. In general In the Catholic Church, a bishop, priest, or deacon may be dismissed from the clerical state as a penalty for certain grave offenses, or by a papal decree granted for grave reasons. This may be because of a serious criminal conviction, heresy, or similar matter. A Catholic cleric may also voluntarily request to be removed from the clerical state for a grave personal reason. Voluntary requests are by far the most common means of for this loss, and the most common reason is to marry. Latin church clergy must as a rule be unmarried. A priest may also seek to be removed from the clerical state voluntarily because he disagrees with major policies or doctrines of the church and wishes to dissociate himself from those policies. Removal from the clerical state is sometimes imposed as a punishment, Latin, ad penum, or it may be granted as a favor, Latin, pro gratia, at the priest's own request. New regulations issued in 2009 regarding priests who abandon their ministry for more than five years and whose behavior is a cause of serious scandal have made it easier for bishops to secure this removal of clerical status from such priests even against the priests. Wishes. In the two years 2011 and 2012, nearly 400 Catholic priests were removed from the clerical state, with a peak of 260 in 2011, nearly half of these being imposed as a penalty. On September 27, 2018, Pope Francis ordered the laicization of a Chilean priest convicted in 2011 of the sexual abuse of minors. He had previously been sentenced to a life of prayer and penance. Topic. Consequences Topic. Apart from cases in which an ordination has been declared invalid, in which case no dispensation is necessary, loss of the clerical state does not in itself involve dispensation from the obligation of celibacy, which only the Pope can grant. It involves cessation of all other obligations and all the rights of the clerical state. Though because of the indelible sacramental character he maintains the power of orders, he is forbidden to exercise it except to give sacramental absolution to someone in danger of death. He also automatically loses his offices, roles and delegated powers. Normally, the same rescript grants both laicization and dispensation from the obligation of celibacy. The person to whom it is granted is not permitted to separate the two, accepting the dispensation while rejecting the laicization, or accepting the laicization while rejecting the dispensation. While married deacons whose wives die are sometimes permitted to marry again, and married ministers of a non-Catholic confession who become Catholics are sometimes permitted to be ordained and minister in the Catholic Church, grants of dispensation from the obligation of celibacy without simultaneous laicization are very rare. A laicized cleric loses rights to such things as clerical garb and titles, such as father. He is freed from obligations such as recitation of the Liturgy of the Hours, but like any member of the laity is encouraged, though not obliged, to continue to recite it. The rescript of laicization for a deacon normally contains no special limitations, but that for a priest does prohibit him from delivering a homily the sermon preached at Mass after proclamation of the Gospel reading, not preaching in general, acting as extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, having a directive office in the pastoral field, or having any function in a seminary or similar institution. It imposes restrictions also regarding the holding of teaching or administration posts in schools and universities. Some of these limitations may be relaxed according to the judgment of the local bishop including the teaching of theology in schools or universities both Catholic and non-Catholic, maintaining contact with the parish where the priest used to serve, and administering the Eucharist. A cleric dismissed from the clerical state cannot be reinstated in the sacred ministry without the consent of the Pope. Topic. Loss of clerical state of Catholic bishops Topic. At Napoleon Bonaparte's insistence, Charles Maurice de Talleyrand Perigord requested laicization in 1802, in order to marry his longtime lover Catherine Grand. Talleyrand was already excommunicated for his part in the civil constitution of the clergy. 
Pope Pius VII reluctantly lifted the excommunication and gave him permission to wear secular clothing, which permission the French Conseil d. Atat interpreted as a laicization. Talleyrand married Worley, then divorced in 1815, and lived on as a layman, but on his deathbed in 1838 he signed a document of reconciliation with the Church, prepared by future Bishop Félix de Panloup. De Panloup then administered the last rites of a bishop to Talleyrand. The laicization of bishops, by dismissal or voluntarily, is historically very rare, although it has occurred more frequently in recent times. Notably Emmanuel Malingo of Zambia 2009, and Raymond Leahy in Canada 2012 were laicized. Józef Wisolowski, a Polish archbishop who had been a nuncio papal ambassador, was dismissed from the clerical state in 2014 on grounds of sexual abuse of minors. The Vatican had made criminal charges against Wisolowski related to his abuse of minors and was going to try him. However, in July 2015 the trial was postponed due to Wisolowski's ill health and then he died on 27 August 2015 before a trial could be held. Bishop of San Pedro Fernando Lugo requested laicization in Paraguay in 2005 to allow him to run for president of Paraguay. The Church at first refused, going so far as to suspend him as bishop when he ran for office anyway, but eventually granted lay status in 2008 after he was elected. <laughs> <laughs> Difference from suspension The removal from the clerical state differs from suspension. The latter is a censure prohibiting certain acts by a cleric, whether the acts are of a religious character deriving from his ordination, acts of the power of orders, or are exercises of his power of governance or of rights and functions attached to the office he holds. As a censure, suspension is meant to cease when the censured person shows repentance. Removal from the clerical state, on the contrary, is a permanent measure, whereby for a sufficient reason a cleric is from then on juridically treated as a layman. Topic. References Topic. 